Hi, my name is Mark Chapman, manager of the HI Principia European Equity Fund. Reviewing the month of October, we find that the European equity market has been recovering quite well based on strong macro data, an easing of the tensions between the US and China, and in general good quarterly results for lots of the corporates in Europe. There have been some notable areas of weakness but they've been rather measured and perhaps not as poor as some investors were expecting. In terms of the performance of the fund during the month, the NAV rose by approximately 1.5% and this was driven mainly by stock specific considerations. I would highlight Software AG in Germany as an example of a good long name during the month. So the company is active in software in the middleware segment, as well as an IoT platform which is used by companies for machine-to-machine -machine communication. Over the past few quarters, the core DBP part of the business has been underperforming. And after speaking to the company, we think that this has mainly been a sales and execution issue rather than a product one. The market space is still growing and there's still large investments from corporates in a lot of the areas where Software RG is active. Having derated over the past 12 months and on a forward PE of 12 times earnings with a good free cash flow yield and a good prospects of recovery in demand in the US, we think the current price offers a very good entry point. Recent results confirmed an improvement in the trends which the market's been very concerned about and therefore the share price had a good recovery over the period. On the negative side, there were some losses in some individual short names, which had results which were in line with expectations, but that was sufficient to drive a share price recovery. One particular loss came from Kaiagen in Germany, which is a molecular diagnostics company, makes equipment which basically makes tests for assays, for various diseases. The company's been growing well over the past few years, but organic growth slowed down in the third quarter to 2%. And they highlighted that in terms of the geographical breakdown, China was the main area of weakness, and this was caused by a restocking at inventories. Having spoken to the company following these results and followed the conference call, we think that these issues are largely transitory and organic growth will return to its previous levels in 2020 and 21. And the stock price has derated to such an extent that if organic growth does reach that low end of the targets, the, the stock will continue to re-rate. In terms of overall positioning, we've been reducing our gross exposure substantially. We now have a, a gross exposure level well below 100% with very large cash holdings. We think that the current rally is based on an expectation that economic growth around the world will rebound in 2020. We think given the overhang and the structural issues facing the global economy, that rebound may not happen. In which case, in the first quarter of 2020, a return to the down move, which happened at the end of 2018. Thank you very much. Bye.